Today I wanted to talk about golfer Rory McIlroy. So he mm. is a very famous golfer. In fact, he's the number one richest sportsman um, in the UK under 35. Like he's the richest one. Okay, wow. you guys. So anyways, he divorced or he filed for divorce with his wife two weeks ago because they had differences um, that were not able to fix. And then a couple we- uh, a couple days ago he actually released a statement saying they act, they realize that their best futures are together and they're going to stay together like what's up with the big u-turn his friends think it's because he has a 200 million dollar net worth <laughs> and he does not want to share man rory save that bag <laughs> save, so, saving the bag save the should bag. you stay in a marriage because it means more it means money and you don't want to and you don't want to half the rest of it, your money or hey. what what's up it's cheaper to keep her. It's cheaper to keep her. <laughs> it's cheaper to keep her. Trust your boy. Ask, but, ask, ask a Tiger Woods. But I got a question, right? So let's just say you do the divorce, right? Everything gets split half, right? Oh, that's great. Now, it hurts my heart. Right. A hundred million is still a lot of money. No, but, no. She, she wasn't shooting in the gym. I understand. You see what I'm saying? She was home taking care of the kids. Uh, uh, I, I take I care of them too. We've had, we've had discussions about this like family before. So... After you do that, you divvy it up. Now, a new endorsement deal comes, right? Because we're, we're talking about Rory McIlroy here. It's not like this guy's like not rated. Like he's one of the best. Like correct. And, and like you, you just alluded to. He basically like has like you know money already. So let's just say you get a Tesla. You know, I'm just throwing it out there. Let's say you know he signs with a Tesla, cyber truck. A, a cyber truck. Oh, love now, that. cyber truck. <laughs> now, with you being the former spouse. Do you feel like you're entitled to that? No, like, it's after the marriage it's, already it's after was dissolved. Marriage, but but yeah. it, it's sort of like you already know they're going to be like, oh, look at this. Like, I want I want to up. Because, I mean, you had situations where people have certain lifestyles, right? And they live the whole spousal support thing. I don't know if it, it doesn't align with the whole, is that a part of the divorce decree or is it like... I mean, that's it, separate from it. If their lawyers went over it, maybe it would. Right, be. because I feel like you you have the whole divorce thing, right? And then you got some people that still they're divorced already, and they're still like, you know what? I can't. One hundred and eighty thousand a month is what I've become accustomed to. Like, I'm not with this person no more, but I, I still I need more. I I um I, I understand what you're saying. You know what I'm but saying? But you know, a marriage is is a is a contract as well, right? It's a contract. So you're signing your marriage certificate. We have a contract. Uh, of us being in a relationship together, right? Right. I think once you hit a certain status, a uh, certain dollar amount, certain figure, I think that there should all my. This is my opinion. There should always be a prenuptial agreement in there anyway, because the divorce rate is fifty fifty. So you got to coin toss if it's going to work or not. And especially when you make that type of money, you should protect your assets. If it's true love, we're going to go all the way. And if it doesn't work out with the prenup, people act like you get nothing. You still get paid if it doesn't work so out. So the funny thing you is. You just don't get half of of what the, the, the breadwinner has brought in. Right. And in my, in my opinion, I don't believe like if Michael Jordan earned $2 billion that he gets a divorce and then the significant other, she gets $2 billion. I just don't, I don't agree with that. Oh, one billion? It wouldn't it be uh, excuse one me, one billion. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The money's so wild, I can't even do the math. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, and I'm not saying, it, just because you have a prenup does She's not a billionaire mean billionaire from you, divorce. Yeah, it doesn't mean that you don't get anything from it. You should be made in a situation where you still have a certain lifestyle. That lifestyle just won't be, you know, at the top tier. You still get paid and taken care of. Right. So Rory and his wife um, actually have a prenup. So oh. she wouldn't have go. gone half anyways. Mm. So I think it's just exactly. a rumor that, you know, they didn't get divorced because of, you know, him not wanting to share his money. He they, he wouldn't have had to split it in the middle anyways. Right. But it is a little mm. kind of like if I was her, I would kind of be like, OK, I see you. You filed for divorce. You decided not to divorce. I'm still going to collect my ducks in a row and let's see what happens from here. I'm still going to still going to make a plan to. Of course, you bit, have to. Because it's kind of like, well, well do, how much do you really want to be married if you literally file for divorce? Hey, well, if, if you did it once, you'll do it again. But check this out. Check this out. Check this mm. out. There's people who've been in that situation going through divorce and it didn't go through divorce. Right. So you can't necessarily say that. There's something that I mean, if it's true love, maybe they she's already accustomed to the lifestyle. So it's not like, you know. 
it can't be worked out. They have a family together, and True. I think that there's other issues underlying that can work it out. Maybe they together. went through something, yeah. and yeah, now maybe they're they through to, whatever they went yeah, through. Yeah, it's like... You don't you don't get half of my income anyway. So him knowing mm. if they have a prenup, you don't get half. Maybe they he they do love each other and they want to work it out. I'm now, just saying, me, I would. Now, I, 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 I would. Now, sure. I, I do understand Missy's point of man. I gotta get myself together. Yeah. As far as my finances or whatever, if this has come up before, because you want to also protect yourself too. Because if this has come up before, there's a possibility it could come up right. again. So Absolutely. if I don't have my stuff together. You know, I'm going right. to be looking crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I do understand that Real one. crazy. <laughs> Real crazy. <laughs> Sitting here like, I'm married to a golfer. <laughs> but I, I mean, I think it's sad like that they that it was done so publicly that they just went around real quick and changed their mind when it could have been done privately if, right. they, if they didn't like for sure know that this was going to happen. I like, agree. And I, agree. I think that's the sad thing about just celebrities in general. Like you are in the public regardless of your, your life is lived in the public. You know, anything you do like this could have been a regular golfer that's just down the street from here that nobody knows going through the same thing. Nobody <laughs> yeah. will know anything. But because this is Rory McIlroy. 10 hundred or 200 million. 200 million man. He's probably, I think he's either the number one or the top 10, one of the top 10 best golfers right now sure. in the game. Everything's going to be in, on TV. Everything he does. Yeah. I mean, he he's going through something for sure because he filed for divorce, didn't even tell her. Like, oh, somebody else had to tell her. And then also, he had, like, a tournament two days Dang, later. So, he, he so who's, had, who's trying to go through a divorce man, and then so, a tournament? So he's too busy. He had, he had her served. That's what happened. I think that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't imagine going through a divorce, like, and then two days later doing a tournament. Like, you... I would be afraid I'd be off my game. I'm going to use that, Missy. He had someone else tell her about the divorce. He, ha Man, you you had her served. You had her served. I agree. I agree. That That's that's hard body. So it's kind of like um, you want to stay in the, in the marriage for money or do you want to like yeah. live live a different life and then not have money? It might be true love. It mm -hmm. could be true love and they just worked it out. Listen. You know? Yeah. yeah. It could be. It's, it's tough. I mean, do they have children? Yes, they have a daughter. So that's tough. It is. We separate, and and how old is the daughter? Three. Oh, that's real tough. I mean, yeah, she's she's, like gonna, she's gonna remember. Oh yeah. She's gonna oh, remember. No, she's three years old. She's gonna she's gonna know that dad's not here, or mom's not here, or whatever. The, obviously, more than likely, the child will go with mom. But that's a problem. Well, if she doesn't remember. She's also going to ask about it in the future. You know what yeah. happened with dad. You know what happened with mom. You know kids are curious. This They'll true, get to yeah. that age where they they may not have understood at the time, but they're going to want to know about that particular time at some point in time. I agree. So, yeah. Um, I I just know I myself would not stay in a marriage just because I didn't want to share my money or just because there was he made like a bunch of money. I I just I don't think I'd be able to. Personally, I personally, I understand. That makes sense to me. I mean, you know, there's another. It's crazy because um. I also think about uh, Mr. Jeff Bezos. Yeah, he's he, now yeah. with someone else, and I know this was kind of similar. He gave he actually gave half of his money to oh, his ex-wife. Well, they I, had no prenup. He I, he gave half go. of it, and he still was one of the richest people in the world, even That's after. Crazy. Um, it didn't even affect him it, at it all. It didn't affect him whatsoever. <laughs> he's like half whatever. I'm still the richest. Yeah. That's crazy. And it actually that made crazy. her it made her the richest woman too in the that's world. That's nuts. That and see that's what he was talking about with um someone making two billion and then she's <laughs> getting the one billion. That's <laughs> nuts. Hey, I just the became the major richest person. Flex major. How did you get your billions? And you I'm know what? And guess what? And when and when she moves on in her relationship, she's gonna make her new boo sign a prenup. And him Watch. too. I wonder because he's you, you think she's so? gonna make him sign a prenup. Watch. Well, it ain't gonna be about love. Well, she gave a lot of it away to charity because she didn't okay. want to keep it. Very kind. And then also, Jeff Bezos is now um, engaged to his girlfriend. They've been engaged for a little bit. I'm I'm curious. Is he going to have her sign a prenup? Because he's I'm, not going to want to do that again. He's not going to want to give half away his fortune again. I know she was on TV. She's a t she was Lauren a TV person. Lauren something. Yeah, Lauren Sanchez. Okay, Lauren Sanchez. Um, She was on, Um, I can't remember. It was like a extra. She was on extra. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's friends with a bunch of celebrities, too. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. So that's um, the life. That nope. would be the life. <laughs> I, I mean, I just think about his situation. I didn't even know that he did not have a prenup, but I he was the first person that I thought about. And man, you know, uh, he probably looked at the Amazon numbers and was like, I'm not going to be affected by this. You see how Amazon is running? You know, at all. No, they got it's like I got too much money. It's they, like they got grocery sick. stores where they don't even need people in them. <laughs> 
Amazon. Walk in, and we'll charge you. We'll charge you when you walk out. Right. He could just buy a grocery store. You know. Right. He's I fine. Mean, he's. <laughs> it, it's crazy how Amazon has has went. You know. So yeah. you know. Shout out to him. But you know, anybody. You know. I think the moral of the story is: <laughs> Hey, do it. Do it for love. If you're not doing it for love, don't be mad if it don't work out for you. Uh, yeah. It's sign a prenup. That's the moral sign, of the story. Yeah. Sign, sign a prenup. prenup. Never. Because look at this. I'm taking your butt. Because it's 50 50. Divorce is 50 that's, that's The numbers are probably higher now. That not that sad? They're that's sad, though. So okay. you're in love and you, you unify and it's 50 50. Well, not everyone gets married for love, though. There's a lot of broke people around here. So they're getting married for love. <laughs> No, I don't mean I don't mean that. Like some people like um, have arranged marriages, or some people get married because one of them because obviously you know they get pregnant, or yes, I or see. they or they feel like oh, I don't have any I don't have any of... more time to find anyone else. I'm wow. just gonna marry you. That's, wow, that's tough, mm. man. Just keep dating. That's yeah. crazy. Uh, excuse me, married man. It's hard out here in the streets, uh, okay? No, so no. what do you mean? Just keep dating? <laughs> no, you just never give up. You keep going. You keep going. Uh, um. I mean, I understand both sides, but I look at it like this. Um, you you mentioned the prenup, right? Yeah. So what do you say to those people that they're not for that, but they want to be with their soulmate or whoever? Like, what do you say to them? I, I say this is not going to work. <laughs> Goodness. <you're laughs> this, is, this, this relationship is not going to work because I come into the relationship with this. And you come in with this, and I respect where you're coming from, and you please respect where I'm coming to the relationship. Wait, with. so is this okay? So, before you finish, okay. is this based off of like the people, the uh, a breadwinner that has like a uh, boku of money, or yes, this is bo- just period? Buku this money. is oh, this is just this with boku is money. Buku okay, money. Regular it. people do not get prenups. I'm just asking. I'm yeah, just like asking. what you want, my Honda Accord? <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, you never know, man. Hey, man, I like the rims on it. Look, that Chrysler but, looking real nice. But that's why people get into predicaments because they're regular people, and then they get a bunch of money, right. and then they're like, "Shoot, but, we sh- I should have had a prenup." But see, that's that's to yes. me way different. If if we starting from the bottom and we grow together, and we're then you deserve half of that. Like, say for example, you know, understood. I'm going to say she's in the bed. And you know what? I have an idea. I want to start this brand. What do you think about that, hon? You know what? Let's do that. We can call it this. Now you're in the bed. You're talking about these ideas. And you're putting them together. He's giving you his his ideas as well. You formulate it, and it's successful. You get on the shark tank, and then he goes big. And you did it down. together. Did it together. Then we separate. You deserve half because you, you built it together. But if I come in with a Nike contract, and you just I see you at the bus stop, I can't give you half. Not but the bus what stop. If, but what if he wants- The bus stop. But what if he wants- A lot of attractive people at the bus stop. But what Don't if, hate, gas is high. Yeah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> go, go ahead, go ahead. It, I, it got you lost. Know, you said what if what? It got lost. <laughs> it got lost. I, I just lost my thought too. No, I mean, I mean, I just brought that up because I wasn't sure if you were just alluding to just what we're talking about here or just people in general so no I just mean, i'm talking about just yep, having people, a lot of money yeah having a lot of money mcelroy money i understand mcelroy mcelroy money mcelroy money man well i enjoy chilling today i mean i love it i mean this is gonna be just great i know we got a big fight that's about to happen actually two big fights so to all my boxing fans out there you you got david benavides you know they call him the mexican monster uh, the name from Mike Tyson himself. Um, he's fighting. Big problem, yeah. And, and then you got, you know, good old Javante Tank Davis who's fighting. So, you know, um, I don't know who you all have in those, both those fights, but um, that's going to be happening. And, you know, shout out to all my Dallas and Celtic fans out there. You know, you all have fun with the NBA Dallas, hung, they hung in there. At Dallas hung in there. So, but, you know, I'm just going to sign off. This is your boy, Francois the Great. Missy Talks. It's your boy, Junior Leto. We are out. Peace out. We started out of-